high. So, uh, creating a banner using GWD Google Web Designer tool is very simple. But like what if when you have too many slides, let's say slide one, slide two, and slide three, okay? So basically what we can do is we can make, we can create a banner using a banner on the same timeline and make these slides one by one. However, it becomes extremely difficult to manage all those animations on single slide, right? So let me take uh, one example here. Let's say banner, okay? So we'll take 300 into 250. Okay, let's say this is 300 into 250. Let's say demo three. Okay, now we we have created a banner here. Okay, now let me preview it first. Let's see, it's it's on first slide, right? This is the first slide of the banner. Now, if you want to make second slide, you can do one thing. You can add one more layer here. Okay and you can add your animations somewhere here, correct? But what if you have four or five slides, the animation will go on, like you have to keep on adding those slides here and here and the timeline becomes quite used to manage, right? So we can make use of pages here. These are called pages, okay? So when you click on this plus sign, you get one more new page, let's say page two, okay? Here what we can do is, on this page we can make slide, let's say slide 2. So we take some color here, okay, let us fill by red, and we can name it as slide 2, right? So system is quite slow right now I don't know why let's say this is slide 2 okay we make it 32 32 we take the color white slide 2 okay so this is our slide two. Uh, let me remove this. Okay, anyway, forget about it. This is slide two. Now suppose you also need another slide. So let's say slide three, okay? So we click on this, we make it page three, okay? We take some color here. Uh, let's say pink or purple or you can write here slide 3 Make it 40, let's say. Okay, so this is our slide 3. So now you can see this is the first part of animation up to here. This is the second animation. Okay, now this you can have some. the third part of animation now suppose if you need some like let's animate this a bit insert keyframe let's say it comes from here so and it should come here or whatever you want to do it okay so these are the three parts now if you preview your animation what you see is the first part plays well it doesn't come to the second slide neither to the third slide so what you need to do is, 
we need to go to the first part okay let's add an event here somewhere let's say here add event double click on it go to this one google app and then go to page go to page click on this and go to page 2 okay so animation should be like let's say i want to slide animation so the slide transition will show okay now let's see okay it's working right so similarly on page 2 what we can do is we can go to page 2 we can add an event here add event go to google add go to page click on gwd add and go to page 3 right here what we can do is uh, let's say fade so we have this now we can preview it again okay so all these three slides are working now now third thing what you need to do is if you want to go back to your previous animation first slide you can again add an event here okay double click on it go to google ad okay go to page gwd and go to page one okay let's say again uh, okay let's say push so we have the push animation here now we can preview everything okay so these all three slides are working now so this way you can create complex animations using GWD Google Web Designer and uh, it really saves your time because you can navigate from one page to another and you, you have all you need to do is you need to think about the particular page animation rather than thinking about the whole timeline okay so this is it thank you for watching you can save your video, you can publish it, clicking on publish, locally if you want, you can publish it here, then go publish it. Thank you, thank you for watching.